This man is on a mission to make Berlin a cleaner, more sustainable, and more pleasant place to live. Roland Preyava decided that the city's transportation logistics needed a shakeup. His three-wheeled urban cargo e-scooters deliver to customers' doors all around the city with zero emissions. The idea is that the final section of the delivery chain needs to be greener. I need to be permanently on the ball, looking for the latest trends and developments and putting them into practice. My approach to life is constantly doing something new and never standing still. And that's kind of my inner motivation, changing traffic conditions here with vehicles like this. Listening to that noise from the truck behind me, I want to rid the city of that racket. Carbon-neutral buses are now also an option. Trejava is among the first in Berlin to convert these diesel double-deckers to electrical power. This depot also has a number of party buses redesigned by artists, which he's used for public art events and installations. Trejava has been involved in the field of mobility for decades. But the hard-working businessman also organizes art exhibitions and has entered the arena of local politics. As Berlin transportation spokesman for the Green Party, he was passionately committed to sustainable delivery traffic in the city. I was curious to see what politics actually involves and how politicians think. Business people tend to be the ones who initiate things. I'm hugely interested in art and find it exciting when you can appreciate the emotional perspective. And I'm very curious to see a new mobility. Which is why he founded Urban Cargo in 2016. Trajava invested in a fleet of electrically powered cargo bikes and mopeds. All orders placed online are delivered sustainably. This is a depot where organic farmers outside Berlin leave their fresh produce to be picked up. The urban cargo couriers then deliver the goods to the farmers' customers. The new lightweight vehicles are available in a growing range of models. This scene is currently evolving and producing better and better vehicles, and a lot is still in the test phase. We stay in very close contact with the manufacturers when there's a problem somewhere, or where we see things that could potentially be improved, which then happens pretty quickly. The Triple is an electric three-wheeler designed in Denmark. It has a range of 100 kilometers and a top speed of 45 kilometers an hour, plus a cargo capacity of 750 liters. It gives Preyava more flexibility in urban traffic than the competition's diesel trucks, which block half a street while making a delivery. Plus, delivery is faster. For customers, that means goods arriving still fresh. Organic vegetables supplied with no carbon footprint to boot. And the company's founder enjoys the experience of skipping through the city on the little e-mobile. It's almost as much fun as in the e-bus. Here you're king of the road, which isn't the case with the triple. You get the superior feeling, I'm the biggest guy here. And of course we also bore comfort in mind. Electric vehicles give a much smoother ride than diesel ones. You've got none of the shaking and juddering. You can drive far more smoothly through town than with a diesel vehicle. And an electric vehicle is also way nicer for tourists visiting Berlin. They can take a trip around the Brandenburg Gate with no noise, no diesel fumes, and a clean conscience. Preyama's buses have a range of around 120 kilometers, which is enough to make several tours of Berlin per day. The trips take in all the sites, including some that the entrepreneur himself was involved in. This watchtower used to guard the border between West Berlin and East Germany. In 1990, Preyava and some artists occupied the structure and saved it from demolition. Down on the ground floor was where they used to store their guns. 
Over here was the detention cell, where they'd hold people who'd been caught too close to the wall. He turned the watchtower into a museum of forbidden art. It still hosts art exhibitions and other events, focusing on the legacy of the Cold War division of Germany. Which, for Preyava, also has a connection to sustainability. A healthy environment also includes healthy political and social conditions. But a healthy and sustainable future also has to include looking at the past, instead of just sweeping history under the carpet and focusing on the future. We have a lot to learn from the past. The e-bus then takes us to another stop on our journey through Berlin's cultural history. It now has a new location, but the original Tresor was instrumental in putting Berlin on the map as a techno music powerhouse in the early 1990s. Roland Preyava used to be one of the club's managers. Electronic music and e-buses. It's obvious. You go through various phases of life. I probably wouldn't have ended up in e-mobility if I hadn't busied myself with cultural history and not been interested in bringing about changes to the city. The issue now is seeing the city evolve further to the next level. And for me, that starts with transportation. We need to ensure that the setup maintains the city's big appeal and that we're not suffocated by the traffic. It's perhaps little wonder that Urban Cargo's clientele includes a fair number of artists. Those artists are big supporters of Preyava's mission to make Berlin a cleaner and more sustainable place. I'd like to see a lot more of these vehicles around the city. They add a bit of life to the streets, and they're a work of art in terms of design and concept. What is art? Art should also have an eye on the future. They're a project or object for the future, and they look great too. I always love seeing them. Roland Preyava is certainly not taking his foot off the pedal. He's on an ongoing journey to make Berlin not just a cooler, but also a healthier place to live. <laughs>